everybody, it's Macy. Welcome back to my channel. It has been such a long time since I've sat down and had a video where I kind of just like sit and talk about the things that I love and the things that I have been using this past month. So this is a March favorites video. I have a couple of shoes that I've been wearing constantly, a couple of scents, um, a couple books, and just some fun things that I'd love to share with you guys. So let's get right into it. So first, I do want to start off with the shoes. Um, both of these shoes are thrifted. Shocker. If you know me, you know that I am the biggest thrifter ever. It rarely ever occurs that I will actually like buy something from um, a retail store like full price. But I found two amazing finds that I would love to share with you guys. So the first one I found is a pair of high top vans. I mean, these babies are in like perfect condition. I don't understand why someone would want to get rid of these. But I literally got them for $16 at Plato's Closet, and I've been wanting these shoes ever since I was in high school, so I'm a sophomore in college, so finally I have gotten the shoes that I wanted. Um, the, next, the next thing that I want to share with you guys is my dad shoes that I buy. A lot of my friends make fun of me for these. They tell me that they like grandpa looking shoes, but I love them and that's my style. So I got these from a local thrift store. They are... Um, Nike New Balances. They just kind of have like this faded yellow part down here and I don't know these are in perfect condition. I literally got them for I want to say like six or seven dollars from a thrift store. Um, they are freaking awesome and I wear these quite a lot especially being in college. It's amazing to have just like a really um, versatile pair of tennis shoes that I can just wear like with anything. Um, the next two items are some more clothing. Um, this next thing is something that I am so excited that I got. Me and my best friend took a trip to Washington DC and we saw Tyler the Creator. That um, video is actually on my channel so if you want to kind of come around with us and see you know, how our trip was, definitely check out that video. But um, at the Tyler the Creator concert I had to get some merch. and. Merchandise at concerts is super expensive, so I kind of had my money saved up for this one, but um, I got the Scum F-U-C-K, can't say that, <laughs> a flower boy hat, and it's got like the little B on the top of it, which is Tyler's logo, um, and then the back has got like this uh, leather strap, and then it's got like the golf um, little tag on it, but this is super cute. It's pastel yellow, which everybody knows is my obsession color. Um, I've been wearing this a lot, like just like with my hair in a ponytail, um, just to class, just to kind of spruce up my outfits, and it's also a piece of my heart because Tyler the Creator is such an inspiration to me, so it's awesome to be able to own like one of his um, pieces. So, the next thing, I actually got back in December, and I wear them all the time. I've been wearing them ever since I got them, but... I've been wearing them a little bit more this month just because where I live it's still pretty cold like still wearing sweaters still waking up in the morning and it's being quite nipply outside so these are um, my thrifted Calvin Klein they're like the high-waisted um, mom jeans and they fit me perfectly like I found them in Chicago whenever I went with my best friend over Christmas break and they were in absolutely perfect condition um, the bottoms don't like have anything cut off. I normally just like roll them up because I don't really like the way just like the straight hem bottom looks. But these fit me perfectly and they look awesome with the Vans and the um, grandpa shoes that I got. So definitely mom jeans are something that's going to stay in trend I think forever. Um, they're super comfortable and honestly mom jeans to me is just like a super um, funky way to kind of not necessarily show off your figure, but um, just kind of like wear something comfortable but still super cute. Um, the next couple things I have are a couple, uh, two beauty products. Being in college and being 20 years old, I don't wash my hair as often as I should. Sue me. Not many girls do. So one thing that I have come to be found of is dry shampoo and this dry shampoo that I have been using I'm actually almost out of it so if you um, think that it works then it definitely does because I'm almost out of it I use it all the time 
It is the Dove Fresh Care Dry Shampoo. It, it kind of smells like lavender almost. I really like the way this smells. It soaks up all that oil in my hair and just really makes me look like I did in fact wash my hair that day. Um, the next beauty product I have um, is actually a perfume and a lot of people aren't really too familiar with the fact that they actually have perfumes at their store and they're really awesome. Um, Rue 21, a lot of people are familiar with it. It's kind of like a Forever 21 but a lot cheaper and more affordable. Um, I got this perfume a couple months back and I wear it constantly. I love the smell of it and the packaging is super cute too. Um, it's called Pink Ice and the smell is just incredibly girly. Um, all my friends compliment me on it. My boyfriend loves it so I love it too and the packaging is adorable and all their perfumes are only $9.99 so affordable but amazing quality perfume. Um, the next thing I have is another super smelly good thing. Um, I went to World Market for the first time a couple months ago. World Market is phenomenal. I've gotten a lot of Christmas presents from there from my aunt and my cousin's girlfriend and the pieces are just awesome and so I decided to try it out myself. So whenever I was there, I got a candle because I'd heard that their candles were super awesome. So I got the Clementine and Honey candle and I literally cannot describe how good this smells. I've burned it quite a lot as you can tell. They're $15, so I mean, they are kind of pricey, but you have to like understand that it smells so good. And the jar that it comes in is awesome too. It's definitely like a reusable jar after the candle's gone. So, that is that. Um, the last two things that I want to share with you guys are some books that I've been reading. Being in high school, I stopped reading a lot just because, you know, I didn't think it was cool. I never really found time to just sit down and read, but... I try to read a lot now just because I'm older and I, you know, kind of want to be enlightened on new things. So I'm reading two books right now. Um, one of them I'm sure you all are super familiar with. It's called The Sun and Her Flowers. And this is like one of those poem books that basically kind of takes you on a journey from this girl who was completely crushed and then it kind of, she just kind of like rebuilds herself back up throughout the poems and this is super awesome. I got this from my sister for my birthday, so shout out to you. Um, yeah, it's super good. I highly recommend this if you're kind of just like a sappy person that just kind of likes to sit down and really just like read something that comes like from someone's heart. So I love this book. Another thing, I literally just started reading this book last night and I was like, I gotta share this book with everybody. Um, it's called Go Ask Alice, Alice, and it is a, like, anonymous, um, diary type style of book. Basically, it just, uh, takes you through this girl's life. She's 15 years old, and she gets super caught up into drugs, and it just totally messes her life up, and this book is basically just, like, taking you through every day. Like, the, this book was written from her perspective, so it's really awesome to be a 20-year-old, but here's this 15 year old's like insane like powerful story so i'm already halfway through this book and i just got it last night so definitely a must read um yeah so those are my march favorites i didn't have too too many things just because i wanted to keep this video kind of short and sweet but i hope everyone enjoyed it i have lots of new things coming for this channel and if you like you better hit that subscribe button and don't forget to check out my tally the creator um vlog and I'll have that linked in the down bar as well. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Later.